Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin. And he's in his T110E5. This is, he's, well, yeah. Not, not weird at all. Uh, this is a tier 10 game on the new map. Um, whose name I'm never going to pronounce, so we're just going to call it Stud. Or the Polish map. Um, cause I'm, I'm not gonna work. We're, we're not gonna go into that. Anyway, so he is platooned up with a T10, T110 E4. Um, and this, by the way, if you didn't know, is one of, was one of the first tier 10 tanks. Um, after they swapped around a little bit, uh, the T30 was actually the, the top tier 10 heavy tank for a long time. And once they swapped the T30 over to the tank destroy line, they made this the new tier 10. So it's been around for ages. But it's still an oldie, but a, but a goodie. It, 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 it is held up pretty well. Uh, yes, it has received some buffs not too, too long ago. Um, I want to pause again and say for the last time, uh, the, the Teespring campaign is almost done. I checked it this morning just to double check. It is, in fact, on its last day. My order is actually on its way to my door as we speak. Um, I'm actually looking, keep glancing at the window because the delivery, uh, tracking number I got says it's en route. So it's, it's, it's almost here. If you guys want one, uh, today is the day to order it. Uh, there should be a card right there and there'll be, uh, you know, I'll make at the end of the video and all that stuff. 50% of profits going to the Canadian Heroes Foundation, which is a foundation that supports veterans. And, um, of course, 50% go back into the channel. And so, we'll, I, I still don't know what I'm going to end up doing with that. But, um, I think I'm probably going to complete uh, a series of the Battle Brothers series. And then the next game I start, we'll put the money into buying that. We'll see. Or, uh, or we'll put into some equipment, depending on uh, what the Patreon society needs to get done with it. Um, and so the goal was to sell ten T-shirts, and so far we've sold two. So come on, like eight people, right? Uh, it's it's not hard, and it's um, it's a win-win-win. It's a great T-shirt. You get to support the channel and support. The Canadian Heroes Foundation, so I don't, I don't see a, a loss here. And yes, I've already bought mine, and yes, it's already on its way. And that's the end of talking about that for a little while. Um, there was something other major. Oh, right, I'm gonna try and stream later on today. This game is gonna go up a little bit late because I slept in a little bit late. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, and so. Uh, I'm going to try and put up a, a stream later on today, if I can, uh, hopefully starting about 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and I don't know what I'm going to stream yet, but I'm going to stream until about 7 p.m. There's going to have to be a break in there for a couple minutes, but you know it, it should be a nice five-hour stream, so we'll see what we end up playing and how long it goes for, and so if you want to be a part of that, it would be amazing if you don't understandable and at any point in time if you want to come in catch the stream part way through feel free to join us okay and that is enough of that let's get back into this game so I remember which button to push and not which button ends the recording because that would be annoying um ooh that's the new uh tank way up there it's a Carnarvon AX um I haven't actually played that and on, in all honesty I haven't played against one until, well, I guess this is technically not even me playing against it. But it, if it uh, has the turret of the Super Conqueror on it, uh, which it definitely looks like it does, then it's going to be a f uh, formidable opponent. It doesn't look like there's any other enemies over here, directly up here. But there's a ton of mediums way over there, and we get absolutely crushed making this transition. Now, you got to be careful here, of course, because down there, there are definitely allies. Well, there's definitely enemies. I don't know about allies. The thing is, our, apparently, our entire team is on this side of the map. But there are definitely enemies down here um, who, have, at this point in time, may realize they dominate this entire side. 
Uh, and so we can definitely get shot through these corridors if we're not really careful with them. Which is why Alex is just continuing to push. Uh, he's not going to do any of these long range sniping duels. He's just going to push up there and be a brawler. And this is one, one of the things this tank really excels at. Because of the fact that that turret is next to impossible to pen from the front. Uh, as long as he's got it well angled. Um, the side of the turret is pretty vulnerable. Uh, so if we turn, if we stop facing an enemy, then uh, then we're gonna have issues. But as long as we're facing them, this should be a fairly well done game. And you can see it every once in a while you see him aiming at the roof. And the reason he's doing that is he's actually putting his gun up in the air and hoping to block shots as Capoa, um, which is of course one of the major weak points on the front of that thing. And if he continues giving people a side, they will of course take him apart. As a uh, Chrysler GF Grand Finals Edition over there, uh, which will put shots through him as fast as anything else will. The only issue for it is that uh, Alex can take it apart without wearing red gold, whereas it's going to have to be fired something special if it wants to pen anything other than, well, if it wants to do anything other than just blast our tracks off continually, which is what it seems to be doing. Though uh, Alex has found a way around this because of the fact that this guy's pulled out enough that he can. He's sticking out his Kapua, and nope! Allies come to help by pushing us out in front of the enemy. Oh, actually, random happenstance, our ally does in fact actually do some aid and does come in and secure the kill. I mean, I'm pretty sure we had that, but it's, it is nice to have allies, you know? And there we go, first enemy on our cap circle. Why there's an enemy on our cap circle, I don't know. But something has gotten around behind us, of course, taking that uh, the southern route and just going straight to our cap. Um, Conway in the middle of the map is going to be an issue if we're not careful about it. But this T-10 is just going to get ran over. Unfortunately, this gun is not equipped with a laser finder so uh, he's gonna have to actually aim these shells if he wants them to go where he's aiming oh that's an IS-3 on the cap of course it is because what else would be capping in a tier 10 game oh well looking for the kill on the patent now he's more or less just charging this thing down now the patent is a we smaller weaker version of the T-10 as far as the shape of it goes and so if you're looking for an equally pretty tank to the patent um, the T-110 isn't that bad in my books. I actually like it quite a lot for this sleek design. You can see him poking out and just trying to bait shots out and onto his armor and then pulling back. And he's actually looking for shots into the ME-3 who's got similar Lord Glacis armor to him. Oh, and we just figured out we have it. <laughs> there's, there's still a artillery behind us. That's going to be an issue. Um, so, of course, angling his armor as the pattern goes to fire. Unfortunately, though, because he's not um, aiming these shells, he's having some trouble penning them. There we go. Um, I'm told by Alex that he ga ga gets a lot of lag spikes, which is why he uses the auto-aim so heavily. Um, unfortunately, he's going to have to switch to heat if he wants guaranteed chance of penning that E3. Otherwise, every single one of these shots is going to be a maybe. And he definitely needs to start killing that thing. 50B throwing its weight into the fight now. As he puts one of the final shells into the E3. And then somebody else just like j nibbles the kill off of him. 6K damage done so far. And the, uh, the artillery finishes off the last kill. Now he's got enough health left that he can take one more hit from the 50B, but not two more, which is the reason he's not really wanting to go out there. I mean, it's an AMX 50B. It's got potentially four shells that it can unload really quickly, and if it's if it's loaded and looking at you, that's a good way to die. Um, but he either decided his damage is you know more important to him than. Uh, stopping and being careful, or he thinks, or he thought that Amex was looking somewhere else. As it turns out, it was a great time to charge out. Uh, Amex fired once, 
And never mind. Amex is at least fired once, and then Amex is dead. So, well done. Unfortunately, I didn't even notice our ally died at some point, and I didn't notice. I'm sorry. Random happenstance managed to get taken out of this game, and I, uh, I, oops. <laughs> okay, now I can show you the, what the front of the tank looks like, as we you just see all the dents and dings on it. So, Lord Glacius is pretty well rounded if you want to kill this thing. Um, you can see where one shell is impacted. That's a good place to start. As we get over towards the where the hell connects to the wheels, it flattens out and evens out a little bit, and you can possibly pop a shell through there. Um, or here, otherwise, you want to be looking for right on the front of the war glaciers because of the fact that there's so little angling at the front, uh, because of course that's you know it's the front of a circle. That's the flattest part of it. Uh, don't bother trying to pen this upper glacis. You're not going to unless you are, you know, doing tier 10 tank destroyer stuff. In which case, why are you uh, looking to, you know, <laughs> why does it matter where you're aiming? Just pop a gold around in and go through whatever part of the tank you want to, right? Um, other than that, uh, of course, on the front of this thing, uh, that cupola is the only other weak spot. Now, if this is all you can see, be very careful with it. Uh, you really, I mean, the whole thing is just beautifully uh, modeled and rounded. So if you're not putting that shell right where that green paint is, right about there, um, or actually even this is actually the better spot for it, um, right where it flattens out pretty much as, as flat as it's going to get, uh, right about here, if you're not putting the shell right about there, then it's not going to go in. It should, I mean, if it if it hits anywhere off to the side, it's just going to ricochet out into nowhere's land, and you're going to be all stuck going, oh man, is this tank in invulnerable? No, but it, it's darn close if it's looking at you. Let's jump over and see its results. Wow. Right? Master Badge, Hand of God, Spotter, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire Effect, Shellproof, and steel wall. He gets the coveted high caliber awards and just overall makes this thing look easy. This is a beautiful tank and um, not so coveted in clan wars anymore. Uh, now that you got things like the 5A and the Type 5 Heavy and stuff in play. But still a great all around tank. If you're just looking for a heavy tank, to go into uh, that has a great all-rounders and it's hard to pen from the front which is really what you want in a heavy tank then this is a great option and the grind up to it feels good which is one of those other things that you want in a heavy tank um just look at that 6,000 damage puts him well into the 6k damage club he also 4500 <laughs> damage blocked. I don't remember him blocking that much damage, but obviously he did. Um, I don't even know where all that damage came from. All I remember him doing was doing with the, the one guy. So that must have been shots coming in from other places I didn't realize, and just ricocheting off of us. This was well done and well executed, and he made some money off it. Um... And that's not even all just because of the fact that he had, you know, reserves on or whatever. This is genuine, you know, even if he'd been running a standard account, even without the, the reserves on, he would have made money. This was a great game. Thank you so much, Alex, for saying this in. And I will see you all later. This IOE throughout. <laughs>